Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks for decorating a dungeon. These are perfect for any spooky build or medieval masterpiece, so let's get going. As you enter the dungeon, it's a good idea to use dim lighting to set the tone. I've used candles and redstone torches to light the space to achieve the appropriate atmosphere. These simple wall sconce lights created with a redstone torch, an item frame with a wither skull inside, look perfect for a dungeon. Achieve this look of a torch inside an item. Place an item frame with your chosen item, in this case a wither skeleton skull inside, and then place the torch just above but still within the block limit. Looking across the whole dungeon space, you can see it's a good idea to break out what would be just a rectangular room with some architectural features. So we have the mezzanine floor we come in on, coming down with the stairs which gives you a space underneath to decorate. You've got the built-in cell system over there and a smaller room with a gate on the far side. Before you begin filling the space with decorations, make sure the room feels like a dingy dungeon. Do this by building with hard materials like stone bricks and mixing in some mossy blocks as well as cracked blocks and glow lichen. Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks for decorating a dungeon. These are perfect for any spooky build or medieval masterpiece, so let's get going. The main area is filled with lots of gruesome dungeon devices. Let's have a look at each of them. First we have this bath of lava which is created by placing trapdoors and then hiding some levers underneath. Hanging above these are some chains and I've got a skull sitting beside. Use these hanging cages to fill space in your dungeon. If you can, get a zombie trapped inside, otherwise you could place an armor stand with a zombie head on top. Perhaps this zombie is awaiting a grisly fate here at the slicer. I've surrounded the slice up with some redstone dots. Make sure you click these so they're not this X, they're just the dot, and they look just like splotches of blood. Hanging above a fire here, I have a skeleton skull on an armor stand. This is easily achieved in survival with an iron trapdoor, but if you're in creative, you can also replace the iron trapdoor with a invisible block. Fires and set into the wall create a fantastic atmosphere in a dungeon or castle build. I spoke earlier about how it's important to break up a rectangular space with some architectural features. Make sure when you're doing this that you use stairs and slabs as well as walls to your advantage to create an ornate gothic looking shape, like here with this archway. I then filled it in with some iron bars to break up the area and then I've incorporated in some chains to create these fantastic iron gates. To create atmosphere inside this gated room with a coffin, you might like to add some wither roses in a pot or some red candles on wall sconces. As you look down the room, you can see the puffs of smoke coming from the iron grates in the ground. These are created by placing a campfire just underneath an iron trapdoor. I've also created the effect of dripping water. This is created by placing buckets of water above a slab roof. To create an effective dungeon, make sure you have a wide variety of decorations. The particle effect of this rug gives a really magical looking feel. It's simply created by placing ender chests under black carpet. And you don't even need to fill in the whole carpet, I just have three chests. On the right here, I've built in some prison cells. You can include as many of these as you like in your dungeon depending on the space. Make sure you have some fun and include some architectural interest as well as some decorations inside of the dungeon. If you can trap a skeleton, that always looks fantastic. If not, you could have some bones sitting on the grounds and item frames, some skulls on some spikes with some iron bars, and don't forget some hanging chains. Opposite the cells, I have this really fun decorative potion lab. It's super simple to create with bookshelves, brewing stands, and turtle eggs and seed pickles make really great bottles. I've hung some weapons on the walls, and a great detail is these images here. They are easy to place custom maps. You can customize these images 
with any potion bottles you like and there's a tutorial for how to create these in the description down below. At the very end of my dungeon, I have this dragon trapped in a cage. This is pretty easy to create. All you need to do is place a dragon head in front of some black concrete and concrete pow powder with some iron bars. To get your dragon chomping, just hide a lever underneath the dragon head. It's also fun to hang an armor stand here, like the one on the other side of the room, as a tasty treat for your dragon. Decorating a dungeon like this is all about creating atmosphere, so have some fun using these decorations to create your very own evil lair. I hope you found some great inspiration for creating your dungeon. Please subscribe for more videos and I'll see you later.